Hi, it's me again with Corolla Roll Tips and Tricks. And the other day I did a video about the two different contours. One of them is under effects in contour. I've got it open right now. If we contour the outside, but if you want to round the corners, you can't just click on these two to get a back. You have to actually go back and then pick rounded corners or go back and pick chamfered corners. But if you do it with a contour tool that's underneath in your toolbox, underneath the drop shadow or the shadow tool, and go down to contour, and then you all you have to do is just kind of zoom it out. And what I like about this, right here, you could turn it to, to rounded corners, and you could turn it to mitered corners. You can change it without having to back up and really see what it looks like. That's a pretty cool effect, and if you would left click a blue and take away the outline, you've got a, a really neat color effect. And if you wanted to, you could play around with making it gray. Of course, if you were gonna do something like that to contour it for a laser engraver, we would want to do it to the center. So let's make our star a little bit bigger. Let's hit P, let's make the, the star, I'm gonna right click a, right, a light gray, and let's go to the center and type in 0 .001, which is the smallest number you can do. And now you've got a new contour that would actually, once you turn this into a bitmap, you could try to engrave that uh, and turn it into a grayscale bitmap. You could engrave that under your 3D setting on your print driver, and that'll engrave like a 3D looking star. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.